Okay, um, I was going to do a non-Lego thing, but I've only got 11 minutes left on my memory card because I forgot to clear it out. Uh, so we'll do a pick a brick, not a pick a brick, a poly bag thing that I got when I got some pick a brick stuff. So that's coming up. But I got this one. I had the Spider Man one that I was going to do, but then I've gone and misplaced it. So we're just going to do this one. Uh, which uh, I only got this one. Like, it's not a very exciting one, but it's kind of interesting because it's got like it's a Lego shop, uh, a Lego seller or something, and they're selling Lego sets on the street. Um, as, the, as you do a street seller with Lego. I don't know the exact story behind this. Um, but it was the only one that was left in the shop. And I hadn't seen it before. So maybe they didn't have many of them. So I thought, what the hey, I'll get this one. There's... Whoa. A couple of other ones that I think they still have. That I, I'll probably get at some point. But I missed out on all the exciting ones. Uh, right. Well, no, I got, I did get some of the exciting ones, including the Spider-Man one. It's not that exciting, I have to be honest, but it's, it's, it's different. Uh, it's very wacky, but not quite as wacky. I just see that there's like an Infinity Wars, uh, saga or whatever they call it, uh, set coming out, which is like Thor's bro something or other, bro Thor, uh, when they're playing the scene from the movie where they're, uh, him and Korg are playing, uh, Fortnite. Uh, which I thought was quite funny. In fact, I actually first I thought that was a joke and that they weren't really doing that. <laughs> it was just a, a made-up fan set, but apparently it's a real set, so uh, you can tell with these things. So, oh, they, this, this looks quite interesting. Like, it looks more involved. Like, looking at the front, uh, to tell you the truth, when I picked this bag up just now, I was, I was a bit confused because there seemed to be more pieces than I was anticipating, but I guess this little yellow box is slightly more complicated than you might think because it has doors and stuff. And things are falling over there. So we've got this and some windows. Uh, I think I mentioned actually getting well. These they've changed these, haven't they? But these these aren't the standard. Well, these feel different. I never had this kind of shutter window type thing before. So that's exciting. Uh, where's the other one? It's here. So it's very hard to say how they are. I mean, they're obviously different because they're not like the little. Uh, standard window pane things, four pane window pieces that they usually have. Uh, I miss the ones that actually are the ones that I really like, and they're, they're quite hard to get. But I've got some somewhere. Is the ones that used to have the the slots on the outside, the things on the outside for the st uh, the storm shutters, uh, whatever they're called. And I think I mentioned this before on this channel because I would have mentioned that I don't live in a country where having those kind of things on the outside of your windows is a very common thing, even though. Uh, there was a tornado just down the road from where I live, not down the road, but a, re you know, a, a relatively short distance, um, a running distance from where I live, uh, that caused considerable damage and took one person's life uh, in Auckland recently, and that was quite like, what? That's, that doesn't make any sense. I don't live in a place where we have tornadoes that do any damage. Uh, so that was quite, quite, I was quite a little bit, um, put out, not put out, but, uh, <laughs> left wondering, oh my gosh, <laughs> I didn't think those kind of things could happen around here, but apparently they can. So, uh, maybe I should have those on my windows if I could, because I can't, but, you know, <laughs> things are changing. So now we're going to put this thing here. Feels a bit strange, like, like this bit here where they've got the two two stuck together like this and they're all like floppy and they're going to fall off so it feels like surely there was another way they could have put like a one stud what's going on the other side the other side's got what am i what am i actually doing oh this is even worse on the other side isn't it it's just like three of these piled up and they can all just fall over surely they could have like you know put a a two a one by two on that side shifted that that one across a bit so that it was over there put a one over there and then did that over the top um if you know what i mean well maybe uh gosh it's really really bizarre it's all <laughs> like i haven't seen someone make something like this this is this is like plop <laughs> plop <laughs> and that one comes off too well that i mean it's not not a big deal really is it because you're going to put this on the top, which is 
mm, step number six, which is what I've almost forgotten that I've only got a couple of minutes left on the camera. So, uh, which is that. So we've done that. And then we have to put these things on. This actually looks kind of like interesting. This is not what I thought the photo was had. So I'm quite pleased with this part, as I will explain in a second when I have done it. And then you put, so then you put the little clear bits over the top, uh, which are all the same, which are all perfectly clear, uh, which creates a nicer effect. Because actually, when I looked at the front, I just assumed without paying much attention to it. Uh, it's very obvious now, but I just thought they were different coloured um, single pieces. So that's, that looks a lot nicer than I was expecting. So, so far, it's, it's turning out to be more than I could have possibly hoped. Uh, and now we have to look at the bottom. So we need this one. So tonight I watched The Tomorrow War, because it just came out on Amazon. And it was, it was I don't know, it was okay, I suppose. Like, it wasn't terrible <laughs> it was fun you know it was something you can watch i don't think i would have wanted, wanted to watch it in the cinema uh but you know you didn't say i don't think they're going oh, i can't be bothered watching this anymore it's just too silly i mean it was very silly like none of it made any sense but <laughs> like it's shocking i felt like it was like you could sit there and you can say, well, it would have been interesting to think about. Like, you know, people come from the future and then they just suddenly appear on a, on a football field uh, and say, we're from the future. Then, you know, there's this whole thing. It's like, no one's going to believe that. They're going to they're gonna think they're aliens or something. And there's going to be this whole social, like, you know, and then they're just like, you know, one year later or whatever that is. They've all decided that nations are all going to come together for a universal draft to send people into the future, and that part never makes any sense at all. Uh, and <laughs> you're like, well, they've got a whole story about how they got there, but they just skipped over that part, and that might have been a, like an interesting story to talk about. But such is the way of things. I won't say anything more about the film, I'm not wanting to ruin it for anybody who wants to watch it. Um, but yes. <laughs> There we go, it's done. Now we have to finish the last part, which is this brick, which goes here, which is, it's an interesting, it's it's, the, it's a very appropriate, but it is a strange thing. It's a kind of a strange thing to actually just get a red brick in any Lego set. Uh, I've kind of feel like I want to go find out now. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to go to brick set or whatever and find out what sets actually include a standard two by eight by three uh, Lego brick like this, <laughs> just like the absolute standard one. So it's, it's kind of like the most. I'm, I'm going to say I can't. There's a word I want to say for it, but I don't know if that's actually the correct word for it. So I'm not going to say it. It begins with E though. Uh, Lego piece. <laughs> like it's you know the 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 flat. We'll just call it the flagship Lego piece. And. But how many sets is it actually appearing? Is it supposed to go like that? I think it's supposed to go like that. So that looks right. Uh, we have two minutes left, so we're doing okay. And then we have to get these things. So there's some cool printed pieces. So this is a box of Lego with... Um, it's a city Lego set with two cars on it and a minifigure. And this person's selling two of them. So this is quite cool. Where did his legs go? I've lost his legs already. They're right here. They were just, I thought they might be yellow. But if they were yellow, he'd look like he wasn't wearing any clothes. So, <laughs> that would be embarrassing. There we go. There we go. So, now I have a Lego employee minifigure. And I bought this from a officially branded Lego affiliate store. <laughs> so... That's kind of cool, and it would have come. They, I never get the Lego bags, but it would have. They would have given me a bag. It looks a lot like that, <laughs> so uh, it is a bit strange. I've never seen them walking around with a Lego cart. Uh, is there anywhere in the world that has these things? That would be nifty if they did. Can he actually um, hold? He can kind of. He's a bit twisted around. I think I've got his hand the wrong way around. Um, hold on. I think if I try it that way. 
One minute. We've got some time left. The camera's not going to run out of batteries. The last time, I, I have finished the car. It works fine. I got my tablet to get the app to work finally by doing something I really think is a bit silly. And uh, and I was going to show it, but it's downstairs. So um, that's for another day. And so these are the two Lego sets. And we're going to put them inside the thing here. And then we're going to finish up for the evening. Just like that. So I do think the fact that they don't have overlapping pieces uh, for this bit here seems a little strange. Especially because you can actually see quite a good gap between these things on both sides. It, it does seem like an odd, an odd, an odd way to build it, but that's just the way that they are, I suppose. Especially because it's like a, you know, this is like a Lego. This is a Lego guy selling Lego stuff. You'd think that they would have built this with the, 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 the sort of more suggested standard way of doing things. But who knows? Who knows? Uh, I think it's kind of a bit dangerous having the doors on the other side from the cash register because someone's just going to come and nick stuff when they're not when he's not looking doing the cash register stuff. But that's just the way it is. <laughs> I'm not going to say that again. But I am going to say goodbye, good evening, and all that kind of stuff, and see you next time. Thanks for watching. Blah, 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 blah. Bye.